Notability is one of the apps you'll use all the time for school. Open Notability and you will see that there are two notes by default. Getting started will walk you through what Notability interface looks like. Tools will explain how the tools work in Notability. These are great documents to look at if you need a little extra practice. Your iPad has been set up so that Notability is backing up to Google Drive and iCloud. Do not turn off your auto backups unless you are directed to do so by someone at the help desk. If you want to look at other settings in Notability, tap the gear icon in the upper left corner and you'll see that you have a number of settings here. This includes themes, your document setup, typing in case you want to change your default font size, font and color, and handwriting. Tap close to close these settings. To create a new note in Notability, find the new button in the upper right corner of Notability. This will create a new blank note. The bottom of the screen, when you first create a new note, will allow you to choose ruler paper, grid paper, dot paper, or to browse through the templates that are available. If you would like to rename your note, simply tap on the name and enter a new name for your note. Your Notability toolbar will float at the top of your app. Tap and hold on it to move it to either side of your screen or the bottom if you prefer. Your tools are in this area, starting with your pen tool. Tap on your pen tool to bring up colors of your pen. You can change the thickness of your pen and the style of your pen here. Tapping on any color will allow you to swipe through the additional colors available or create a custom color. You can use your pen tool to write with your finger, a stylus, or your Apple Pencil if you have one. Your pen tool will also allow you to draw rough shapes like rectangles and by not releasing the tip of your pencil or your finger until the end, it will create a perfect version of that shape like rectangles or circles, which can then be resized. The pencil tool is similar to the pen tool but just has a little different texture to the writing. So you can see when I write, it actually looks like a physical pencil. The highlighter tool works similarly to both of those. You can choose a color, a size, and a style, and it will go over your writing or objects that you've drawn without covering them up. Your eraser tool, again, has a size and will allow you to either erase a whole chunk of something that you've created or just a partial. So partial would erase a piece of that highlighter, whole would erase the entire thing. Your type tool in Notability will allow you to type text. A single tap on your note will start the text in the left margin. If you would like to create a text box, have the type tool selected and tap and hold on your note, then choose add text box, and you will have a text box where you can type. This text box can be resized and moved using the handle, so that type can go anywhere on your page. Notice when you have the text box selected, you have some additional tools to change the formatting of the text, duplicate it, cut it, or delete it. Note that you cannot use your eraser tool to erase your type. It will just look like it's erasing and then that disappears. If you would like to delete type, you need to select your text box and hit the delete button. Additional text formatting tools can be brought up by selecting text. You can change the style of the text, the font, the color, and more. This includes bullets, numbers, indentation, and that can be done by selecting whether on the left margin or inside of a text box. The selection tool allows you to either create a free form selection or a rectangular selection to select objects on your screen. Free form is good for handwriting or other drawn objects, so you can select it, move it, copy, and delete it. The box selection is good for handwriting to select it, tap inside, and convert, and you can convert your handwriting to text. You'll see a preview, and then you can convert your selected text. You may have to go back and fix some formatting, like capitalization, but it is a tool that you can use. Your media button will allow you to insert images from your Photos app, which is this first button, 
take a picture with your camera, insert stickers, GIFs, and more. Typically, most of what you're gonna be doing is inserting images from your Photos app. So you can select any image from your Photos app and it will be placed in your document. Hit cancel to make that window go away. And now you can select that, you can resize it, and you can move it around your screen. There are additional tools in Notability. More information about these is provided in the tools note if you wanna learn more. On the right-hand side of your screen, you have a couple of options. The three dots is going to be where you're going to do things like share your note to send it to an assignment and create links to it if you want. We'll go over more of this when we talk about submitting to a Schoology assignment. The pages icon is gonna allow you to navigate through documents that have multiple pages. You will see I have two pages in this document. The three dots button is going to allow me to add pages, delete pages, clear the page, copy a page, duplicate a page. The bookmark will allow me to bookmark a particular page so I can get to it quickly. I can also tap, hold, and drag pages to reorder them. I can search within my pages and I can sort so that I can find pages with bookmarks. Notability will split screen with a number of apps. Swipe up from the bottom to select an app, tap and hold, and drag that app to either side of the screen to split screen with Notability. In this example, I'm using Google Docs. Another feature of Notability is to use the multi-note feature. So if I swipe over from the left side of my screen, I can see all of my recent notes and I can actually have a double screen of notes in Notability so I can make them side by side. Just like side by side apps, I can also make them top bottom. So if you need to have two Notability notes open at the same time, you can. And if you have additional questions about Notability, be sure to check out the Getting Started and Tools notes for more information or come talk to the instructional tech or ask a teacher.